Well, a veteran says that he'd like to turn 1,500 miles into $150,000, all to help fellow service members. He's doing it by riding his bike despite being paralyzed. Brett Hall met up with him in Virginia. After biking 120 miles in one day, most people likely wouldn't agree to a bike race. You will quickly learn Ricky Raley isn't most people. There isn't a challenge he won't take on. I've been on variations of this style of bike for about 10 years now. Raley was paralyzed from the waist down after he was involved in a car wreck in 2009. Nearly six months earlier, he had returned from serving in the Army in Iraq, where he says an IED explosion left him with brain damage. Yet none of that is why he's riding from New York City to Tampa, making sure he stopped in Virginia Beach. It's important to come here and reach this market because there's so many veterans in this area. Veterans he knows are suffering on the inside. We came home with everyone. But after we got home, it, within two and a half months, we lost our first guy for suicide. And then it just kept going. And then the number just keeps going. So it's, I need to stop that. Not just for my guys, but for everyone out there. So it's why he's talking to everyone, raising money for the boot campaign that works with vets to improve their lives. No matter the issue, traumatic brain injury, PTSD, chronic pain, insomnia, rarely says there is help. No one needs it more than you. I'm Brett Hall reporting.